Good morning, grasshoppers. Playing the most logical of chess openings. Maybe not for our opponent. This is a very unusual system. A very unusual system for our opponent. Can I play it that way? Let's go for it. Let's see what we've got. We'll see how this goes. Now, I believe we're kind of forcing his isolated pawn. Some pressure on his isolated pawn. Oh no, it didn't work out. That didn't work. How bad is it? If I take this pawn with check, how bad is it? Oops. Lost on time. I had no time to think. I had no time to think. But my opponent got a game and he got my rating points. Let's just go for uh, switching up the music here a little bit. Some calming cinematics. From Pretzel Rocks. Time change has kicked our butt a little bit. I admit it. Best informant, ladies and gentlemen. 1,000 best of the best. Whoops. Crossed the streams just a little bit. Let's see here. I just have to remind myself to look for the more. Miniatures. More Miniatures by Dumont. He wrote the book 500 Master Games of Chess with Tartakauer and the book 100 Modern Master Games with Botvinnik and Tartakauer. But another lesser known book, book that uh, Dumont wrote around the same time or earlier than 500 Master Games was 200. Chess miniatures, very instructive games. Book 200 chess miniatures actually has 328 games in it. Because there are miniature games within the miniature games. It made the book seem more palatable rather than saying 328 miniature games. And it's very difficult to figure out how the numbering system works, really. So I'm gonna to have to go through the book cover to cover. Maybe I'll try to do it on stream. Ironing out what exactly 200, uh, the 200 miniature games and their sub games are. How many studies would it take? 64 games to a study. So it's going to take at least five studies to get 328 games in. Is that true? 600. And 40 
Oh, sorry, 640. 320 games will fit into five studies. So 328 games does not even fit into five studies. For the book, 200 miniature games by Dumont. I think it's out of out of print as well. What? Somebody has the book online in the US. That's outrageous. My address. All right, well, at least we have it up in the background. We are preparing for Reykjavik 2020. Yesterday I was doing uh, D4 only. What in the world? What in the world? He wants to be able to recapture. Is this really going to work? No, we have to, we have to play very solidly here. And now for something completely different. Is this a problem? It does appear to be a problem. certainly appear to be a problem. We're just developing our beeswax as we see fit. This one could lead to trouble, I admit. Vivel C. How he plans on extricating himself from this pen. Okay, or not extricating himself from this pen. Can I go this way? We are having fun, folks. Oh, fine.
Mentalus, I believe, has me, has had me in the past. But when you're committed to a certain structure before you begin playing, very difficult to play accurate chess. You just have to play chess, forget the openings exist. Be willing to play any type of position anywhere, anyhow. Did that just now come up? The 1000 best of the best. We have the French Bishop chess cast. Another episode airing this week as I start to consider bringing in newer regular guests. What can I see? Shaken, not stirred. What is up with our sound? Our sound is not working. Thank you for joining the dojo. Cheers and ciao. Chess kudo. Oh, not chess kudo. EQ EQ. Check week 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 week. Thanks for following. All right. Well, it's a little delayed. It is a little delayed. Let's check our sound alerts. No more. I want to try that one more time. I also want to check our follower goal. Right now it's at four. I might need to amend it. So I'm going to try this again. Welcome, my team. Shaken. Not still. No more. Now, why is it not working? See, it went to five when I replayed it. I don't mind, I might have been off by one anyway. But let me see if I can find the settings for... Got a little bit of a slaggy, laggy sound alerts. Slaggy, laggy, laggy sound alerts. Check our sound alerts, everything is okay. How are you, DQEQEQ? We are starting an hour earlier because the times fell back. We are on universal time. It is going to torture me. But I'm staying on universal time, everyone, so if your clocks change, it's your fault. Not mine anymore. Mr. Dodgy told me in a women's uh, in a women in chess advocacy training seminar he told me that the march or spring forward is two weeks off of the united states and north america so they switched the clocks forward two hours earlier or i'm sorry two weeks later than i do than we do which is extremely annoying So right now, apparently, I'm at 24.99 in followers. So the next follower will get a gift sub. The third follower of every stream could actually get a gift sub. How about that? Am I going to catch up to Pillsbury? I can only hope so. This is a nine round event. There's plenty of time. A3, that's my Number move, Red Horse. For subscribing. Aww. Thank you, Pegasus. For a gift sub to Olive. Is that a friend? Alright. 
So let's see here. If I play e5, it is a... Rui Lopez. Rui Lopez is out of the question. If I play the Queen's Gambit, we're going to have a little bit more fun, obviously. I'm just going to batten down the hatches as best I can. See what my opponent is up to. Fascinating. We're going to continue as though this does not constitute a problem. We're not putting our knight on uh, any squares that could constitute a problem. Can I? Now let's just continue developing and pretend like he's not attacking us. And now we'll start chipping away. Yes. Remember now, we have the A5 square. This is a little bit unusual, folks. But we do have the A5 square. And we do have other squares to support our center, if needed. We're just going to surround these pawns and try to make them weak. Yes. Oh, I see. You cut me off of that one. So knight e4 or knight c4? Knight e4 looks embarrassing, so let's not do that. Mm-hmm. This is a little bit of a threatened attempt at winning some material. Our original intention was to grab space, yes? With or without the opportunity. To exchange. So now, bishop takes c4, knight takes a5. This is awkward. I'm going to pretend as though this is all part of the program. We will analyze our games later, and we will decide then if there is a problem. Not until then. Yes, yes, he does have that. So knight takes, knight takes.
Knight takes f5. Knight takes g7. Is it going to be better without that bishop on board? I guess it is. And like this is not a problem, right? Not a problem. And now for something completely different. Yeah, he is winning a ruck in a couple of moves. That much is true. But I can't let him win the ruck just yet. That was a very interesting game with A3. Red Horse. From Puerto Rico? From the Philippines. Welcome to the dojo. So C5 and now E5 is not what's recommended, right? Knight F6, B4, A5. Yes, much better. Now, could I have played A5? Could I have played B6 in this position as well? B6 is too much of a clear advantage. Knight C6 might have been interesting, but I don't like the idea of ever being able to play B6 as happened in the game. Wow. Now it's equal. B5, Knight A5, C6. My instincts were correct. Although I didn't need Bishop C5 here. I could have just played Queen to D6 and developed my pieces. Queen to b6, queen, and then just head over, right? Start swallowing pawns. Queen to 
queen to c5, queen to a4, king to f7, rook to a8, and then rook to a7, and then a discovery. Rook to a8, rook to a7, and then a discovery, yes? Knight takes b3, and if queen takes a7, knight takes a1. And I'm better. Alright. We learned something. Turkey sandwich. Today is knight c3 day here in the dojo. My, four, my first four favorite moves. e4, d4, a3, and knight c3. We have to play the Vienna game proper. That is our goal, to play the Vienna game proper. Proper. Now there's no threat, of course. To the f7 square brought bad but i believe the f5 is supposed to be a, a very good move here since he's affording me the right to castle i'm going to take it remember i only have half of his time i cannot be too luxuriously placed here Let's move out of this mess. Fight like a Grand Prix attack. Oh, he didn't need to play that. He didn't need to play that because he had Queen to D4 check if I took the free pawn on E5. That the pawn on E5 was not hanging. And these lines, queen of d4 check picks up my knight. But now I've picked up a, a piece. He's taken a piece, I've taken a piece, and he has two pieces hanging. So our recent shout outs. By the way, I have to give Ron a little bit of a, of a complimentary run here. I think he just gave away another piece. Believe it or not. Ladies and gentlemen, Pegasus, aka Ron Hay. Thank you for that gifted sub. Bring us to a magical 22 gifted subs. So yeah, going back in time. Queen to e1 was only the threat of a threat, as after e takes d5, knight takes e5, queen to d4 check, I win the piece, so. Bishop takes f3 was the move that broke the, the camel's back, the straw that broke the camel's back. Vienna game, Max Lang. They really don't like my f4 move, huh? They should probably just capture. E takes f4. What about my player database? I've been in this position 73 times as white. Can you imagine I've been in this position 73 times as white, and if they play e takes f4, I win 83% of the time. For a dubious move. which is supposed to be best, I win 83% of the time. So, if mainly it comes out of knight c3 and it's usually opponents, bishop to b5 is better. 
This is the first time I've played bishop c4 in this position. It's crazy. The theme is, of course, that black against the Vienna is not supposed to play knight to c6 because of the pin. As it turns out. Perfectly acceptable. Let's get back to our initial position. Maybe we can look at some GTO strategies here. For those of you who can't see these. We have 103 B4s. And we're doing B4 and G4 to reach 200 for the moment. B4 and G4. If I had somewhere to put the screenshot, I would definitely I can put it in the uh, Discord channel. How about that? Let's slap it in the Discord channel. GTO to be completed. B4, I'm really suffering though. 55%. I better study this open. Could well be my worst performing opening now that I think about it. Let's look at those st stats again. Only E3 and D E3, D3 and F3. I guess there are a lot of worse statistics than B4. Want. Thanks for following. Thank you for the follow. Rizia Wan. Rizk. Rizkia Wan. Sounds like he's from Hawaii. I'm going to refresh my Twitch to see where we are on the followers list. Hmm. Still says twenty four ninety nine. No more foreplay. The twenty five hundredth follower officially. I know it might say two point five k. Nice. Maybe he's subscribed to the YouTube as well. If you've not yet subscribed to the YouTube. This is your chance. If you've not yet joined the Discord or any of the other socials, what are you waiting for? Ron A. <laughs> All right, Ron. I was just showing games like this to my student the other day, and I gained a 
much better understanding for these positions. Bishop to b2. Ladies and gentlemen, the incredulous yet awesome and powerful Mr. Ron Hay as he attempts to make this work. It's so much easier to coordinate Black's forces. I cannot work B4 into my system, although I'm going to try. Is there a threat? What's my opponent's big idea? I only have one rook to give. doesn't seem exactly correct. Wow. C4, C5. I have to stop him from playing C4, C5. His coordination. Mm-hmm. I know this much is true. <laughs> Keep up the pressure as we try to shift our queen to d5 or to the other side of the board. Interesting. Where is he headed? I want some simplification though. Are you headed, sir? Mm -hmm. I want simplification here. <coughs> Mm 
I'm offering you a pawn. No? I can't offer you a pawn? Can't get there from here. Mm -hmm. Knight takes, bishop takes, queen takes. That knight is pinned. All right, moment of truth, huh? Back rank mate problems? Possibly. <laughs> Ron, you're a good hearted soul, sir. As he has mating too, he offers me a draw. <laughs> it was such a good game until it wasn't. Ron, you are a gentleman and a scholar. You are a gentleman and a scholar indeed. I cannot wait to get to the Vaho Chess Club. It has to be cheaper like Iceland. Iceland, I'm flying round trip for 500 and less than $600, but it came up to over like 600 and change after the hidden fees, taxes, and stuff like that. And he fed me to Pillsbury. That's what he did. Did he draw with Pillsbury? Pillsbury has turned into a mortal. Oops, my F2 square could be weak. But it's not. Got me there. That much is true. He most certainly got me there.
I have the world's worst record against uh, Pillsbury. He has me every single time. He does. Let's step out of bishop to b6's way. We'll attempt to play this positionally down a pawn. Can I do it that way? Ah. <clears throat> All right, so how did I miscoordinate my pieces? Should I have played? So I've been in this position how many times? Only two times before against Father Gus Coyne when I beat a 27-32. I played h4 against Father Gascoigne. This is a rather convincing win against Father Gascoigne, my highest rated win in Blitz. <clears throat> so h4 certainly should be played instead of the ease at the early d takes c5, but I really want to play queen e2, so maybe I should play queen e2 here in this position. Queen e2, bishop f4, and castle's queen side. <coughs> Again, h4 will probably transpose back to father Gascoigne. No. Only knight takes d3 would transpose back to Father Gascoigne. Yeah, h4, knight takes d3. Let's see how well the Lee Chess uh, database works, and queen takes d3. Oh no, it was because he took on e5. Father Gascoigne went in that direction. Fair enough. Alright, my favorite line. Let's go back. Do the masters play this at all? D takes c5, knight to c6, queen e2, bishop f4 is 85%. Knight takes c3, and indeed h4 or castles are the best moves. C takes d3. Against lesser players, of course. Both of them castled. Queen to d2. Not a big fan of giving up the square. Knight 
nine rounds. Is this a better time for you, Ron? Is this a better time for you? One hour earlier. <laughs> Let's see Ron Hayes game. How do you do it, Ron? What type of position does Ron get? Where he trades queens. And just wins material against him. I think it's because I am owned. I am literally owned. By Pillsbury. I don't think I could ever play the way Ron played against Pillsbury. Wow. It was just a free pawn. And the double check that wins a piece. Nice tactic run. They should give your bishop takes f5 an exclamation mark. They really should. The 2500th follower. It's possible that uh, our previous follower had followed before, and that way he doesn't count as a follow. Rizikion. Rizikion. All right, Mr. Thurp, we're still continuing with knight c3, even though I could get a couple of b4s in. We're going with a very traditional method in order to get to a French. So I should be studying bishop g5 Frenches. Yeah? Didn't I? Shaken, not stirred. 2500? Poopy stink capital management. I don't believe it. Poopy stink capital management. Where are you from, Poopy stink capital management? For some reason, PayPal is not connected to, I believe the Brave browser is what I am doing. I need to get castled. And only now will we handle that problem. They have more of where that came from, Bobby.
Yes. Perhaps the thing that we were waiting for. Takes, 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 takes. Simplify. That created more problems than it was worth, didn't it? Did it not create more problems than it was worth? Let's not use our check too unwisely. Is he trying to set a mating net of any sort? attack Sorry G sir Eight, and we're neck and neck with Turkey Sandwich, who beat me, I believe. 
Oh no. I managed to get him with the uh with the with the tent move game. What happened in our previous game, folks? Let's do a quick bit of analysis. G6, very unusual. Bishop D3, not the best move. Queen to D2 straight away, yeah? Just Queen to D2 and castles Queen side because we have H4, H5. That is the initiative that the erstwhile engine wants us to believe in, preventing any Queen A5 check ideas after C5. And also protecting our B2 pawn with castle and Queen side. So after queen d2, bishop g7, I can castle queen side. I could play queen f4, just play h4. Fairly certain that h4 is the order of the day. Yeah, h4 and queen f4, both good. Neck and neck. Bishop d3, also a possibility in the natural world, but natural moves can lead to natural disasters. All right, so we learned something. We had never seen G6 before. Queen D2 taking over the dark squares. Very thankful for a good turnout at my first 4 a.m. stream here in New York City. I apologize for being late. I am going to reserve the right. The start time may be pushed back. Back to 20 seconds per move. And it's the ninth round already, and it's 531. This is perfect. to take advantage of this. Do we go into the bishop g5 lines? Can we play a bishop g5 line? This doesn't seem right. That's fascinating. Does that change anything? I do not think that it does change anything as far as his weakness on B3 goes. So he sold out his weakness for that of a free free pawn.
Just starting to look a little iffy. He takes D4 does seem more prophetic. Queen to B3 was a negative. Knight to F1 was tragic. That was not an easy game for Kloss. Mm -hmm. Not an easy game for Kloss at all. If you're a natural Grunfeld player, he re he was playing a Grunfeld with an extra tempo. You had to know where you wanted to go. That was round nine. So it looks like I could be safe securing a first round, a first nine round weekday event. Reykjavik Open 2024, let's go. While we wait, we'll check out Pillsbury's game in just a moment, but I don't know that our Knight C3s are catching up. I needed one more d4 in order to catch up to e4. So we have 2332, 1032, and 2331. We need one more d4. Should this event ever end early, we will be in the 5.30 a.m. hourly bullet. Hopefully there is one. Yes, there is one. 
Let's see Pillsbury taking advantage of his opponent here. Ouch, this does not look good. Given that he has more time, he should be quite okay. E7, forcing the exchange of rooks. Indeed, rook to d8, and resides. Let's see, mentalist versus turkey sandwich. This doesn't look good for mentalist. Down a rook. Ron Hay with seven and a half points out of nine. Beast mode. With the courtesy draw, he could have actually tied for first, but he would not have beaten those tie breaks. He would have gotten all of my tie break points, which would have given him only 33. Nicely done, everyone. And now, I owe Poopy Stink Capital Management a gifted sub if he's still here. I'm going to look him up. Poopy Stink Capital Management. All on my channel. And gift a sub to a specific goal to a specific person. Where are you? There he is. Thanks for subscribing. Namaste, everyone. Namaste. We're gonna raid uh, an old friend who is celebrating his partner anniversary, Attila Turzo. And he is playing viewers, slow games, by the way. He is playing viewers with slow games. Let's roll the credits here. Thanks everyone for being here. Please check out Chess Informant for your latest developmental needs. We will be doing some more Fisher streams for MD Night Zero. And to Ron Hay for the Gifted sub earlier. Namaste, Ron. Great work, everyone. Cheers and ciao. If you've not yet subscribed to the YouTube, this is your chance. Please subscribe to the YouTube. It will help the channel immensely.